Good morning, everybody. Thanks for joining me on my third video. Today, I'm gonna to be going and picking up the RX-7 from Jordan, taking it over to Andy Lou at Shine Tech and seeing what color uh, wrap they have in stock. If you know me, I'm very impulsive and all my friends, close friends know what I'm painting the RX-7. However, I'm not willing to give the car away for a month or two um, while it gets painted. So we're gonna go check out what kind of wraps they have available right now. I'm actually excited to drive the daily today. I haven't driven it in a while. I've been driving around the truck or going out on the motorcycle, which I did get rid of yesterday. I know I mentioned that in my last video to you guys, but letting this thing come down from a cold start and uh, I'll be getting over to Jordan here in a minute. Made it to the shop here now, about to uh, change the spark plugs out in the FD. It was breaking up a little bit the last time. And then once I change these plugs up, I'm gonna be on my way over to Shine Tech to see Andy Lou. Pretty excited for this thing to be one color. It's been a long time. It's been about four years building the car and really focusing on what's under the hood first. And now I can finally start with the fun stuff, kind of customizing the car, fit my personality and, and do some interior work. But I've got those two spark plugs here. I'm gonna quickly change those out. I'm running two two coils here, so it's only two plugs that I'm running. Um, and then hopefully I'll be out on my way to Andy. We got those spark plugs out, and uh, as you can see, they're pretty beat to shit. Here we go with the fresh ones, ready to get thrown in. And of course, I picked the hottest days to decide to drive the RX-7. Funny enough, the daily doesn't even have AC. I'm out here dripping in sweat, but Thankfully, the RX-7 has AC, and that was a great decision I made. Even the guys at 7-Day were freaking astounded that I kept my AC, but not a bad decision to make. So we're here in Easton, Pennsylvania at Shine Techs, and as you can see, they've got some really, really nice cars outside here. My man Andy Lou over there. I'll show you guys his FD in a minute. He's got turbo up in the air like Simba. <laughs> but... Yeah, I'm, I'm glad I got over here. No issues. This alpha is sick. So here we are inside of uh, Shine Tax Easton, and you can see here in their showroom they've got beautiful NSX they're working on and this GTR. If you guys are in the Pennsylvania area, make sure to check out Shine Tax. So if you guys want to see one of the cleanest examples of an FD here in the Lehigh Valley. You guys gotta take a look at Andy's car. Like I said, truly, in my opinion, one of the cleanest, if not the cleanest, SD here in the Lehigh Valley. Me and Andy both got our cars done over at Jordan's shop. Very uh, similar setups me and him have. But as you can see, his is one color and super OEM plus. I love it. 99 spec. And if you guys want to see more of this car, be sure to go give Andy a follow over on Instagram. Hang out at Shine Techs all day and you'll see uh, beautiful cars pulling up. What's up, What's up brother? If you guys want to see more of this Supra, make sure you go check out its Instagram. finally made it back to the house and behind me I'm going to show you guys in a minute the color that I chose to get and again I didn't get this color because it's the color I want my car to be it was more so a good deal on the vinyl wrap my buddy had and also not letting my car go for 30 45 days to get painted when I don't have that much time left in the season I haven't had this car out and driving for what four or five years so I really don't want to give it away for too long um, so gonna wrap it one color this season show you guys the color here real quick and it's really nothing fancy. It's more of a root beer brown, if I had to give it any color. 
sort of expect this to kind of be on an Audi. However, we'll see what it looks like on the RX-7 ones. It's a different shade, shade as soon as you put the uh, light. Nah, it looks alright. I think it's gonna be a cool color. I'm not a big fan of the the brown, but I think in the sunlight and for me, it's really about getting the car one one color. It's nice though. I like it. I guess we'll see. And that's all I have for you guys today. I really appreciate you guys taking time to watch my video. If you did like this video, take a moment, subscribe to the channel, click the bell, and I'll see you guys on the next video.